Hello, all you wonderful people, and greetings from Top Prom. This temple has been featured in many, many movies and video games. If you saw the Tomb Raider movie, the first one, they shot a little bit here. And if you played the game Dark Souls, this place might look very familiar. The only thing those movies and games don't tell you is that there's a really long walk to the temple. There's a band back there that is composed completely of people who have been affected by landmines. This is also the temple that has been overtaken by nature. Trees come out of the ground straight from the rock. And I'd like to think that Walt Disney might have taken some inspiration from this temple when they were building the Jungle Cruise Adventure. And you might see a lot of people just walking and waiting for something, and that something is that big epic tree that's overtaking the temple. With the loose rock and the beautiful temples that nature has decided to take back, you can really see why this place is a prime location for filming and inspirations for fantasy worlds. Yeah, this looks like it was lifted straight from the Jungle Cruise. So I'm pretty sure Walt Disney was down here doing a little research when he was making the original Disneyland. It looks like a tree octopus has ever taken this temple. It's amazing how these carvings, even though they've probably been reading down a couple times, stand the test of time. It's pretty incredible. Out of all the temples in Angkor Wat, I think this one was the most impressive. Because it shows that even though you can create massive monuments dedicated to gods, nature seems to overtake that. Does this not look like Lost Isolus to you? What an amazing place. As I always say, you can do it, I can do it, we can all do it. Stay groovy and have a wonderful day.